Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor Updated Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just started our journey in Pendor and gained a couple of units. Nothing really to write home about, unfortunately. We are only with seven units. Now, I am going to be splitting these guys half and half because I really do not know much about the Empire units, if anything. So. I thought it might be an idea to, well, obviously not that, but maybe we could do something with the troop trees? Apparently there is no troop tree. Okay, well, I suppose we could take a look at our victory progress. As we can see here, this is absolutely fantastic because we also have the Kingdom of Pendor long forgotten, so I can assume that maybe they are going to come back at some time in the future. So otherwise... The Snake Cult is healthy, the Jatu are healthy, the Mist Mountain Barbarians are healthy, and the Heretics are, of course, healthy. And no armies have been spawned, no standing armies to dispute our rule, the Nordor relations are suspicious, and these are the victory conditions, which we actually fulfilled previously, and that is, have one kingdom remaining, which must be ours, or obviously we must have helped someone, or... Well, and, should we say, the Noldor must have favorable or better relations with you. Every other minor faction must be obliterated or destroyed with no outstanding minor factions or heroic personalities on the map. So that is fantastic, isn't it? Such a wide variety and, well, dare I say, diversity with the certain victory conditions. Now, I'm actually wondering where the troop trees are. Is it here? No, it's definitely not here. Thank you very much. Goodness me. Well, we're going to be going out of there very soon. And uh, Okay, so play companion dialogues. Few all. Yeah, I think that will be fine. Show battle kill count. Should we turn some of these new things on? Important news only. On. Maybe? I have no idea what that does. Well, this is going to be amusing. Okay. Well, let's see what that does, because obviously that's going to change how much information we get in the chat log. Is that correct in the text log? It seems as though that is the case, because nothing seems to be happening right now. But we are going to be attacking some angry outcasts before we take out the kidnappers' hideout, obviously, because we do want to make sure that we have high enough level units to deal with it. Obviously, we're not going in there by ourselves, as far as I'm aware, at least. Maybe they've changed that as well. Who knows? But everything is looking fantastically polished, it appears. And everything is running very, very well. There doesn't appear to be too many problems with recording or no crashes, no framing issues, no nothing like that. So it is, uh, yeah, I have to say, probably, unless they are working on another version, probably the definitive edition of Prophecy of Pendor, and I gotta say that it's all looking mighty fine. So, well, let's just take a look and see where our opponents are coming from. Now, we do need to be a little bit careful here. I am injured, obviously. Yes, that's just what happens when you are me, and... We need to be a little careful here, so let's get our infantry a little bit closer. We just want to charge in, in my opinion. Really nothing to worry about, in actual fact, because we do have some assassin's daggers. Let's try and use these to good effect, shall we? Or not. And just let our units kill everything, apparently. Well, I'm going to attempt to kill that guy over there, but no such luck. See, now, throwing weapons, you kind of need to be a little bit closer, but I was really worried about dying yet again, because really do not want to die right now. Just when we're about to take on the kidnapper hideout, that would be pretty bad, pretty bad timing. But, as you see here, we actually have such an amazing amount of looting skill that we are gaining food with every single, well, every single battle, it appears, which is absolutely fantastic as well, because then we're able to sustain ourselves without spending money on the much needed food. So let us head on over to the marketplace, and we're going to sell a couple of things here. We're going to sell this rusty sword, because even though the infantry mace is blunt, the sword, while probably pretty good, we're just going to be making as much money as we can right now. And obviously we do need this infantry mace to be able to make money from prisoner management, which we did spec quite a lot into. 
So we're going to try the slave trading route, but if that does not work, then obviously we're going to try to trade something else. Maybe not trade as much as you would need to, perhaps, but oh, we actually have a book. Okay, we're going to be reading that, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so let's go to camp, take an action, select a book to read, The Great Leaders of Pendor. Well, that actually sounds great. So, yes, let's just wait here for some time. It's going to take a little bit of our money, but really nothing to worry about. And we're going to get to around morning, I think. Now, we do have a rather spectacular amount of, whoa, spotting skill as well. I had no idea. Well, that's actually going to help us out quite a bit when we are attempting to avoid the huge amounts of snake cult units that are no doubt going to be plaguing us very, very soon. Well, let's just see what happens, shall we? But... First off, did anyone level up? No one leveled up from that. No one leveled up at all. That's really quite unfortunate. So I suppose we are just going to attack. Now, the only unfortunate thing I can say here is that we may be fighting the same kind of unit that was leading the robbers or slash bandits before when we were attempting to obtain the information previously. So, yes, let's hope that that is not indeed the case, because otherwise we are going to have major difficulties. So, let's just see here. Come on. Oh, no, no, come on, come on. Be a little bit closer, maybe. Maybe not. Yes, there we go. There we go. That's a lot easier. Or maybe not. Yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. Wow, the hunter actually saved me very, very well there. And, yes, I was just about to kill him, but then he decided to interrupt me. So, yes, maybe I should just ask him next time. Please stop, I need to kill you. Yes, that would probably not work, especially against these guys, but, yes. Well, we'll see as time goes on, but let's just take these guys out. Thank you very much. And, oh, hello there. The merchant's daughter it has arrived. Yes, there we go. Well, yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can. Now, we do also get some more cheese and bread, and we are also able to gather some new items here. Nothing really great, but reasonable, reasonable, reasonable things. But yes, let us just now head onward, and we're going to be heading on over to Glunmar, recruiting a couple more units if we can. Goodness me, there appears to be a rather difficult curve here when it comes to recruiting. A lot of people are mistrusting in the land of Pendor right now, so we need to be a little bit careful, I would say. A little bit. There is a snake cult party, so if you wander off the beaten track, it's definitely going to cause some difficulties. So, yeah, there's only ten. So technically you could take them out, but obviously fighting some outlaws is a lot easier. Maybe we will find a couple of units that oh my snake cult shrine yeah definitely not going to be dealing with that right now but we will come back to eliminate and obliterate them later on we do need to make sure that the snake cult has a very minimal presence in this area ah oh, there we go there's three empire recruits well three is better than nothing i suppose we are currently having some difficulties here though who's that red brotherhood thieves do we want to deal some damage to these guys and save some farmers? Maybe. Maybe we want to. Should we? We are at 60% HP, so I think we could probably do that. Why not? Let's try. Oh my. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit difficult. 11 versus 7. We are on our horse once again. I'm actually unsure whether I should stay on it, because obviously it doesn't appear as though we have any horse archery to speak of, so our accuracy is, ah, uh, well, atrocious. So let's just see if we can get a couple of units into a good position here. Oh, they actually have horses. And that's exactly the reason why you probably want to make sure you stay with your units. Yes, that would probably have been a good idea. Now, let's just see whether we actually get any luck here, because these guys are obviously going to outmatch us massively, considering they are on horses. And I should have gotten off my horse. I definitely should have gotten off my horse, and I should have stayed with our units and waited for these guys to arrive. That would have been an amazing idea, but obviously I did not do that. So we are going to have to deal with these fellows a little bit more than we would have liked, of course. Oh, 
Well, we actually appear to be eliminating many of the bandits. It's just the Red Brotherhood fellows that are on their mounts that are causing us the great issues here. So let's just see whether we're actually able to get any headway. If not, then I will of course retreat and we'll try again. But the highwaymen do appear to be a little bit tougher as well. Come on, take him out. You can do it. Yes, there we go. Thank you very much. Now let's see if they can deal some damage to this fellow. Maybe? Ooh, no, we are actually dealing some reasonable damage. However, that Red Brotherhood thief over there is showing our forces what for. Now, do bear in mind, we have four, they have three. If we lose another one, I'm I'm actually, I'm actually going to be retreating right now because we really do not need this aggravation. So we're going to be heading on over to Maras Castle and resting up a little bit and, well, obviously upgrading some of our units. Okay, so to cut a long story, well, medium length story, shall we say, short, we have been resting at Maras Castle and then I decided, well, I think it would probably be a better idea to run around a couple of the villagers here and, yeah, well, lo and behold, they have respawned their volunteers and what better thing to do than to actually kill a couple more outlaws and gain some more prisoners. Unfortunately, the militia patrol thought it would be a good idea to get in there first. So, yes, now we have to deal with some of the forces from the nearby town. So that is, ah, that's, that's actually quite disappointing, I have to say, because I was really hoping that we would be able to claim those rescued prisoners. Not entirely sure whether we will lay claim to them now, because obviously the militia got in there first. So, Let's just see, shall we? Let's just see if we're able to. I'm actually going to pull out my knives here because I feel as though this guy's actually going to deal a good amount of damage with his glaive or whatever that may be. Let's see if we can use our assassin's knives. A little bit less accuracy, unfortunately. No. No. And thank you very much. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Yes, just fall over and give me the victory. Yes. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, we do actually get that. Great. Okay, so that is wonderful. Now let us see what these guys level up into. Okay, pilgrims do not level up into anything, which is somewhat disappointing, I have to say. But, well, they are a unit, and we are going to be placing them at the beginning there. Thank you very much for that. Now let's gain a couple of scythes there. That is exactly what he was using. Not a glaive, but a scythe. And we're going to head on to Ahun Castle as well. Well, not castle, but village. And we are now going to be heading back to Yanos to uh, let the merchant know that his daughter is safe. Obviously, she has already arrived back, hopefully safely, hopefully not getting kidnapped again. Well, probably kidnapped again for the next fellow. But nevertheless, we are going to be rewarded most handsomely, hopefully. Well, let's head in and see whether that is indeed the case. I'm going to assume no, but... You never know. He might give us a couple of dinars. Yes, 200 is not too bad. Okay, so let's see here. Is, is that it? Really? Okay, you're not going to give us any more quests? Okay, well, hmm. That is somewhat disconcerting. Well, nevertheless, we do have the guild master here, and we are going to be asking him for a job. Ah, yes, this is excellent. We will hunt down those bandits. That sounds good to me. So let's see. Oh, there they are, the troublesome bandits. They are... 21. Let's see if we can go to Fanada and get a couple more. Nope, still not respawned, unfortunately enough. Okay, so let's see here. Can we deal enough damage to kill these bandits? I think so. Why not? Let's try it out. Let us head in and see whether we can pull this off. 27 against 21. Yeah, we might have some difficulties here, but we definitely want to get on the high ground, or at least try to get on even ground as much as possible. Okay, so we have two archers, but really they are not going to help us out too much, unless the bandits have no shields. I am very, very hopeful that these guys are going to be absolutely terrible, but you never know. This is Pendor, so they might give them some shields, maybe... Oh, no! No shields whatsoever, this is excellent. Yes, take that. Unfortunately, we currently do not have the ability to throw behind us, so we are just going to be making our way back 
to our forces. Okay, everyone seems to actually be in a very nice formation right there. And let's see whether we're able to take a couple of these guys prisoner. If all t oh, wow, well, if, if at all possible. This is going to be very, very difficult to do, though. Because we, of course, do have a very short-range mace. But it actually appears to be working relatively well, amazingly enough. And we knocked that guy unconscious. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, we're going to have to charge everyone. Thank you very much. Try and take out these archers. They are going to prove rather tricky to deal with. Especially seeing as they do actually have some two-handed weapons that are absolutely fantastic for taking out a mounted unit. Especially seeing as... Ah, oh yes, we really do need to replace this mace. Obviously, it was only 300, so not really going to break the bank too much. But, yeah, it seems as though we are going to need a much greater reach weapon. As you can see, I'm just missing here, even though I am right next to them, so... We are getting some lucky hits, but I have to be very, very close. And we really do not want to be that close to the likes of the Snake Cult, for example. So let's just see if we can take this guy out. We are being shot, wow, so many times. And there it is. Even one of the bandits was able to eliminate our recruit there, but thankfully enough, only a wound. Oh, wow, actually all of our people were wounded. I can only assume that the bandits were using blunt weaponry. That's actually really nice to see. Okay, well, other than that, I think we're going to be replacing the mace with this balanced sword. And then we are also going to be attempting to get a shield. Are we lucky enough to loot a shield? No, we are not. So that is unfortunate, but so be it. And there we are. We have eliminated the bandits. And we are going to be heading back to the Guildmaster. I do like the fact that the quest is very close by. And we were able to complete it remarkably simply. So, yes, there we go. Aha! Your relation with Yanos has improved and you have gained three renown. We have advanced to level two as well. Do you have another job? Ah, yes. Unfortunately, this is not going to happen, at least for me right now. We actually have one persuasion skill. Now, I believe if you had chosen different, well, different choices, I suppose, different decisions at the beginning in the character creation, you could have ended up with eight persuasion. So you could, ima you could imagine that that particular quest would have been very, very easy to complete indeed. So, let's see here. Do we want more charisma? Do we want to be a more charismatic fellow? I think we probably just want to get to intelligence 12 and then start getting our strength maybe to 9 and then deciding from there where we go. But right now we are definitely going to want to get a little bit of horse archery, I feel. That's probably going to make a little bit of difference to how well we are able to throw our knives from horseback, of course. And yes, I think that should be fine. So let's head on in to the goods merchant. And we're going to be selling absolutely everything we have here. Nothing really to worry about. But we are gaining a huge amount of money thanks to our trade skill as well. As far as I'm aware, that does make a difference. Look at that, 1,800 dinars just from that. Just from that. So let's get some smoked fish. We only have one other of those. And I'd like to get some dried meat, but it is rather expensive. So I think we're just going to be heading on in to the shield vendor. Or at least I like to call it the shield vendor. It's not really a weapon merchant to me. I like to get some shields. So size really does matter when it comes to shields. And we're going to be getting this dark metal shield. That sounds good to me. Are we able to get any other throwing weapons? We are, but they are extremely, extremely... Wow. Wow. Expensive. I was not anticipating that. Especially seeing as we are currently using assassins throwing knives. Wow, that's pretty impressive. But we are going to stick with throwing weapons. I actually would love to make a throwing weapon character. So let's see if we're actually able to pull that off. If not, then so be it. But I'm going to stick with it this time. Because I know every other time I say, Oh yes, I'm going to stick with this particular build. Or I'm going to go with an archer. I'm going to go with something and well suffice it to say i end up going like oh no i'm i'm not going to be doing that now but yes i think it would be a good idea to just stick with it for this one and oh we have a companion available 
I am Adonia of the Rock Tops, from the finest raiding clan in the Mist Mountains, the Cat's Claws. Our clan is greatly favoured by Vahovis, or so I once thought. My father is a great clan chief who trained me well to fight and raid. When I was just 13, I formed my own raiding band and had enormous successes. We had the best looting record of all the clans, even those led by men twice my age. I had the prettiest furs and a lot of gold jewellery to show for it too. Unfortunately, Lord Stefan was waiting for us in one of the Feardsvane villages on our last raid, and his warband killed all of my men. For the first time in my life, I ran away to save myself, after the last of my band was killed. I've had to sell off all my jewellery just to eat, and I'm tired of being poor. I need loot, chief, and lots of it, because I can't return to my clan until I have the gold to pay indemnity for each of my men. I'll fight for you if there's a prospect of good loot in the offing. Oh yes, well, why not? Let's go for it. If she is actually able to join us, then I think it would be fantastic. Whoa, 1,200. 1,200? Actually, we made that money really fast, so do we just want to... Yes, we do. We are going to be spending that for a companion, and we are not going to mess it up, because obviously we do not want to get taken prisoner. Oh, yes, now this is Frederick. I would love to be able to have this guy... Ah, oh, what word have you of the wars in Pendor? They are endemic, sir. War would appear to be Pendor's national sport. I am Frederick, and I am a great swordsman of the Forlorn Hope Regiment of the Isle of Mettenheim. Mettenheim was invaded by Barclay while we were in the grip of a great famine. I accompanied the Count of Mettenheim, my general, to Pendor, to secure trade agreements for food, and perhaps make an agreement for the lease of arable land. We have much to offer in trade, since our specialty is smelting and the casting of all things metal. Unfortunately, we were first shipwrecked and then those not drowned were massacred by a large band of snake cultists. I am the sole surviving member of our delegation to Pendor. I cannot complete our mission here by myself, and have currently no way of returning to Mettenheim. Until the Count of Mentenheim, our ruler, learns from our lack of reports that something has happened, and sends another delegation, I must live by my blade. Ooh, well, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic guy, but I know that he's going to be about 8,000 or something, which is really... Oh, 6,000, okay. Well, I would love to be able to have you, Frederick, but not this time. Not this time, that is for sure. So let's just take a look. How much do we have left? We actually do have 1,600 left, so nothing really to worry about there. Also, we do need to speak to the Guildmaster, I feel, don't we? Or have we just completed that? I think we've just completed that, so... Yes. Ah, you are looking to escort a caravan. To Sarleon. Okay. Well, why not? That might actually open up a couple more avenues of attack for us as well. And the caravan is actually moving reasonably fast. So, without further ado, I am going to be ending this episode of here. And next time on Prophecy of Pendor, we are going to be making our way over to Sarleon, which is actually very far away. As you can see, that's actually not too far. Ah, well, maybe they've... Yeah, I actually believe that... They've moved some of the towns, so that is good to know. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.